think it's only fair to take a few seconds and to gloat a little bit. Um, you chose the candidate that the Republican Party didn't, uh, you know, didn't vote in in Missouri, and now all the leaders in the country, Republican leaders, are trying to get Aiken to go. So I think they probably love your choice. Well, I won't gloat about it, but um, I was right, and Sarah Stillman's supporters and campaign staff, uh, it, we were all right in knowing that Sarah Stillman is the right person for the job to represent Missouri and to uh, allow uh, common sense conservatives to take back the Senate so that we can halt what it is that Barack Obama has done to this country. Sarah Stillman was the right person. I supported her then, and uh, I'm going to continue to support her. Well, it looks like Senator Claire McCaskill will be sending a fruit basket tonight to uh, Congressman Aiken because uh, he certainly has, I mean, uh, he has certainly jeopardized the chances for the Republicans to take that seat. And Senator Claire McCaskill really was on the ropes, but now, um, boy, things have, changed, have turned around, haven't they? Well, that, see, that's the point, Greta. Claire McCaskill and, and the Democrats thought that they were so clever in um, fighting so hard to get Aiken on the ballot as the winner in the GOP primary. And, um, you know, many of us who recognize that cleverness, that craftiness from the left, because we're kind of getting used to the games that they play, wanted to do something about it. And Sarah Stillman and her motto and her campaign being the status quo has got to go was absolutely right on and saying, you know, we need somebody who has a strong record of reform, of fighting crony capitalism, of fighting the good old boy network, of fighting ignorance in the Senate, and Sarah Stillman was going to be that person. Now we do have opportunity, even though Todd Aiken has said that he's not going to drop out and bless his heart. I don't want to pile on Todd Aiken because in, in some respects, I understand what he's trying to say here in um, standing on principle that he doesn't want to be perceived as a quitter, but you got to know when to hold him and know when to fold him. Believe me, I've walked it before. I know when you have to hold that mantle and then hand it to someone else in order to progress a positive agenda. That's what I had to do in Alaska. In order to take back the Senate and promote the ideas and policies of respecting and protecting the sanctity of human life and respecting the idea and policies that would uh, perpetuate a, a strong economy based on empowering hardworking individuals instead of growing dysfunctional indebted government, we've got to take back the Senate and Missouri is a must win state. The way we do that is to have someone like Sarah Stillman be able to run, even if it's as a third party candidate, to be able to run and help us take this back.